Hi and welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. Let's discuss all the new features in Elementor version 3.11. Starting with number one is the way to schedule your pop-ups. Previously, it was not possible. You had to make your pop-ups private when the time window ended. But now, when you click on the options arrow and click on advanced rules, you can see there's something called schedule date and time. Now, you can set a pop-up based on your site's start time or start date, right? You can set the date and also the time of your site or you can set it based on the visitors, which is more accurate because let's say you have a pop-up for Black Friday discount sale. You can just use this advanced rule and no need to delete the pop-up or no need to make the pop-up private. You can simply pick the start date and end date and also time if you have something of that sort and just click on save and close and that rule will automatically be applied. This is a cool little addition. Let's move on to the next feature. The second feature, this is probably one of the biggest, though it may not seem like that, is to set images based on device. When you click on a section, column or a widget, or in this case, a container or an element, you can see that under background image, you have this responsive option. So when you pick tablet or mobile, you can just add a new image maybe a smaller version or an SVG version of the image as the background, right? And this is different from image size, which uses CSS to rescale it to different sizes. This is loading a smaller image size. So that is a heavy optimization and combine that with lazy loading of background images. It's going to make your mobile websites really faster or the mobile versions of your pages really fast. So that's a really great addition. Let's move on to the next one. The third feature is to copy and paste between websites. Although I couldn't get this to work, right? I have a website called chaokarthik.com and then we have wpalgorithm.com. Now if I right click on this and just click copy and go to this website, another page, right click and click on paste from other side. It gives me this pop up and even when I press the keys, it doesn't do anything. Maybe this is a bug. It will be fixed in the future versions. But technically, you should be able to copy this element or any element from one website to another website without importing or exporting JSON files, which was the old method. Maybe on Chrome it works. Let me know if this works on Chrome for you. But on Safari, I couldn't get it to work. Maybe it requires special permissions because Safari's security is a bit tight. Let's see. Anyway, let's move on to the next feature. And the next feature, well, it's actually a brand new widget called Loop Carousel Widget. And uh, you can type loop or carousel in the search bar. And it's this widget. Just click and drag this. It's similar to Loop Grid, where you create a template and it repeats itself, except that in this widget, it repeats itself as a slider, similar to Slider Revolution plugin. So goodbye, another plugin. So you can pick from a template, just like loop grid, you can pick a template that's already created, which can pull dynamic data, or let's actually create a template on the fly. So I'll just click on create on the fly or create template. I'll just click save. So that should technically save and it gives us a plain playground. Now I'll just click on this plus button. Let's select the structure. I'll just select the simple structure. Maybe I'll select full width. I'll pick a height of maybe 400 pixels or whatever, right? And I'll also give this section a background. Maybe I'll use my primary color as a background. Let's drag some widgets into the loop grid template. Now remember, this must be technically used for dynamic data, such as post title, custom fields and all that. Let me drag post title and it pulls in the post title from the post on my website. And let's actually change the color to white so that we can actually see it. So that's kind of neat. And uh, I'll click on navigator. Now let's actually drag in featured image. That will dynamically pull the featured image of the particular post in the loop carousel. And maybe that should do. Once we are done, you can simply click on save and back and that will technically create the template and the carousel itself. So yeah, so this is how it looks like. Now, 
it's displaying three slides at a time we can obviously change that click on navigator and I'll select loop carousel and here we have different settings to play with so I can just select one post or one slide slides on scroll maybe five you know you can also make it equal height so that's an important setting see that so yeah it's looking good and you can change the query from posts to pages to basically any custom post types let's change it to code snippets that's a custom post type i have on this website and you can see that it automatically pulls the data of it i don't have to change anything and you can go to settings you can change the autoplay you can scroll change the scroll speed you can also use pause on hover so when you hover over the slide it will basically pause the animation you can also pause with interaction maybe when someone clicks on it when he tries to click on something and you can also edit the template again while you're in the carousel widget so i'll just click on edit template again just click on save let's actually drag a button and dynamically link it to the post itself so i'll use the button widget let's also change the background of the button widget so uh, let's actually pick this one and uh, let's align the button right in the center let's actually make it justified so that looks like so and link let's click on dynamic tag and let's change it to post url so it will basically take to the custom post type of whichever slide is displayed so that's kind of neat you can hit update you can click on save and back and that will again take you back to the loop carousel widget and now it's changed so yeah you have that you can use it for any post type you can also use it for woocommerce product grids i'll make a separate tutorial on creative ways to use this later but this is all which is new in elementor 3.11 and there are also several accessibility improvements so screen readers should technically be able to understand the context of pop-ups and other widgets so yeah it's getting better and better stay tuned for more subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye